I'm in the basement of a house and this is your standard fiberglass tub shower unit that's being installed in most houses these days but it's not the unit I'm concerned about this tub shower unit is installed on a concrete slab I'm standing on a concrete slab in the basement and it's what's underneath it that I'd like to show you so we'll just head around the corner here <clears throat> and we're in a little walk-in closet right behind the fiberglass tub shower unit is right behind there and I'm going to open that wall up right down there and we'll see what's underneath it and remember that I showed you the the uh, valve and the drain side of the tub now this is your this is what you find if you were to open up the um, the drain valve side of the tub <clears throat> and <clears throat> excuse me first of all if you do this you got to be very careful because you don't want a nasty surprise when you're cutting this drywall that's the Questpex water line so that you just have to be very careful uh, when they install these tub showers they have to have a hole in the floor to make up the trap there's a trap right there on the drain and that's to stay full of water so you don't get the sewer gas back into your house and uh, I, I did all this to install an active sub-slab ventilation system and in order for that suction or negative pressure to work under the slab I have to make sure that there's no big holes in the slab and whether it's in a finished basement like this or a rough end or an unfinished basement sometimes you'll see these holes in the floor for a future bathroom I have to somehow block that hole up so just wanted you to see that's the single size crushed rock that's under the slab and everything looks fine I just, I'm just gonna smooth that out and cover it with about a half inch grout cap and that will make sure if I have the suction point close to here that I don't lose all my suction through that hole. <clears throat> 